This is it, buddies. Our first day of training at NASA. Awesome. Yes. Well, time to go home. Wait, no, we can't give up now just because it's a little hard. I'm sorry, a little hard? Were we even in the same human body? Yeah, brain! That's a pain we never want to experience ever again! All right, rest up. That's just the first set. First set? How many are we doing today? Oh, about a couple dozen. What? I don't think little old me can take that many sets. Hey, you want to go to space, right? Oh, absolutely. Then you have to go through this centipede training. Wait, I thought centipedes were little insects with dozens and dozens of... I said centrifuge. <clears throat> It's a device that uses a specified centrifugal force on a specimen. In this case, you. And all astronauts have to go through this? Correct. It's how they're able to withstand the high G-forces during rocket launches and re-entries. She hasn't got awful, no doubt! G-forces are the gravitational force equivalent expressed in units of standard gravity. And how much standard gravity do we experience here on Earth? Exactly one G. And how much did we experience in the centrifuge thing? Two G. Well, that's one more G than I'm willing to take. Oh, two G is nothing. The G forces you'll experience during the actual rocket launch will be way worse. We'll be experiencing three to five G, right, Doctor? Uh, that's right. And re-entry is even worse at four to six G. Space documentaries on YouTube again, brain? <laughs> Yeah, I love space. It's why being an astronaut is a dream of mine. And you'll do whatever it takes to achieve that dream, right? Absolutely. Good! Now get back in that centrifuge for another 23 cents. No! Seriously, Brain, we're not cut out for this. Yeah, we have aches and pains all over. Plus high amounts of fatigue. And nausea. Look, buddies, we've made it this far, so we can't give up now. Made it! It's just day one! How many more days is this going to take? 364. A whole year? Yeah, we're lucky because we're in the accelerated program. The standard program takes several years. That doesn't make it better! <sighs> All right, Brain, we can see how much this means to you. We'll at least try to make it through a whole year of... The worst pain! But you better do your best and be the greatest darn astronaut that ever lived! Thanks, buddies. I won't let you down. What is this, astronaut training or clown college? Yeah, what's with all the funny faces? We're trying our best to perform AGSM. Oh, goody! We haven't gone to all-you-can-gorge sushi madness in a while! Uh, no, not today, Stomach. I'm talking about anti-G straining maneuvers. I'm guessing just by the name that their techniques to help manage the G-forces will be feeling? Yep, we're supposed to instinctively use them while encountering high G-forces. They can't be that good if it means looking like an idiot while doing them. The funny faces happen because we're simultaneously tensing the muscles in our abdomen and legs. That sounds like what people in the gym do when they flex in front of the mirror. What the heck does that have to do with space travel? Oh, I know, I know! It's so the blood goes to the upper body instead of the lower body. Specifically, the chest. And myself. Great job, Hart. I do control the blood flow throughout the body, after all. But uh, what's with the funny breathing? Oh, you mean the rapid inhalations and exhalations every three to four seconds. Hey, I see where this is going. Doing that increases the oxygen content of the blood, while simultaneously decreasing the carbon dioxide levels. And all of this combined prevents me from blacking out during high G-force scenarios. Huh, pretty smart. But it'll take a lot more to convince me that we can do this. How did that session feel? A whole lot better, actually. All those AGSM practice sessions sure did wonders. But what are these funny pants we have on, Brain? It's called the G-Suit, which helps to prevent G-Lock. We'll be wearing it underneath our spacesuit on the big day. I would hate to be caught jaywalking in space of all places. No, G-Lock is G-induced loss of consciousness. I don't know about tight pants helping to keep us awake, but they sure do make it hard to breathe. G-Lock is caused by blood being prevented from reaching the brain. 
So when these, uh, pants inflate, they'll keep the blood from pooling in just the lower body. And help me stay conscious. So what'll happen to Brain if he does experience G-Lock, Doctor? He'll probably inflate it! Pop like a balloon! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh -huh, very funny. Nothing that dramatic. Brain will first experience some loss of vision. It'll start as a gradual loss of color, then tunnel vision, then complete loss of consciousness. Ha! <laughs> That'll never happen. We've got this hardcore astronaut training in the bag. You know, for the first time ever, I think we might be able to pull this thing off. This is it, Brain. This is what we've been training a whole year for. Don't remind me, Liver. Three, two, one, launch! <laughs> what the? Brain, what's wrong? Brain's choking under pressure. He doesn't know what to do. Brain, I'm sending as much blood as I can to you, but it's not enough. You have to do the AGSM or we'll black out. Brain, listen to me. I didn't believe we could do any of this NASA crap. But you showed us the impossible! You got us through a whole year of horrifying training with flying colors! You made us believe we can be legit astronauts! We, we believe, believe in you, Brain! brain. <sighs> Thanks, buddies! I've got this! Great Yay! job, Brain! Space! We're finally in space! Oh, how I've dreamed of this moment! Thanks to you all, I was able to do it. So, are we heading back now? I'm hungry. Oh, did I forget to tell you guys? This is the start of a years-long expedition to Mars. Mars? <laughs> guys, I don't want to be that guy, but you can't stay all day out of your orbit or we'll... Wait, what? That's me? Hey, big guy. Don't tell me you didn't know about solar cards. Solar cards? Indeed! There are hundreds of cards to collect, including moons, planets, dwarf planets, and more. Okay, what can we play with this? There's two main modes. The first one is battle mode, in which we place our cards on the table and battle our opponents while everyone tries to summon a star. And if I want something more chill or educational? Then you can try trivia mode. Basically, everyone takes turns drawing cards and reading the descriptions. You get 10 points if you guess the name, and an extra 5 if you know the radius. So, where can we get this game? Well, we're running a Kickstarter campaign which will only last 30 days in which our backers can get not only the game, but awesome rewards! Awesome? Okay, I guess the sun won't bother if I join for a game or two, right? Nope! In fact, I want to play too! Wait, oh, son! No.